Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan, the voice behind that Kaito Dan, and welcome to my reaction to the death battle between Mob and Tatsumaki. But before we get started, as always, please make sure you watch this first through RoosterTeeth.com to support the show and give a lot of credit to the team behind it. So, Mob and Tatsumaki, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I have no idea about these characters at all. I have not seen Mob Psycho 100 nor One Punch Man yet. Um, I know some people are gonna go and freak out about that, but guys, you have not seen my backlog. It's about the same size as a as a football stadium at this point. Uh, so yeah, I have no real clue about what powers and what achievements these characters have got. I know somewhat that they are PSI users or psychic power users. Uh, so something in the same vein, I guess, as uh, Ness and Lucas from uh, the Mother series and Smash Brothers. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all I know about them, that they got like psychic powers. I know, I also know that uh, Mob himself has this kind of like limiter where if he reaches 100% he's super powerful. But that's about it. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see uh, what details I find out through this uh, through this death battle. Um, and then of course just seeing the fight itself should be interesting. Especially with like psychic powers. There's a lot of creativity you can get with uh, the fight for that. Uh, so yeah, at the moment, I have no prediction on who's going to win. I will make a quick one, obviously, before the uh, fight itself starts. But for now, I'm going at this on a completely even kill. I don't know who's who's the most likely to win by most people. But either way, I'm just looking forward to another good death battle. So let's just get straight into it, shall we? Ah, da -da -do. Right, I'm ready to go, so, count it down with me, three, two, one. Ah. Rooster Teeth. There are plenty of talented people in the world, but even then, only a select few have the honor of being called Prodigy. But being a Prodigy can get to one's mm. head, or one's head, if you know what I'm saying. Um, damn it, <laughs> they got to it before I could, but yeah, that's another thing as well. I know that the uh, creator put on one, uh, he made both of them, so that's another connection between these two. And Tatsumaki, the fearless, ferocious esper from One Punch Man. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze Okay, so let's see what we have in terms of research. Oh, and it's going to be a pixel battle. That will be cool. As a citizen of Seasoning City, you would probably be familiar with... Oh, and I know Kerbifer is in this as well. I think he's the voice of the... The blonde guy. Yeah, them. Reagan. But you probably Reagan. think twice about this plain-looking boy with a bowl cut, Shigio Kageyama. He does have a good style. Let's see. Member of the Body Improvement Club, plays with food, watching the sky. Why tea poison is an alias? <laughs> The kanji in his name can even be misread as mob, which means bland mm. and boring. Naturally, oh. <laughs> everybody calls him that. So you might be surprised to learn that he accidentally took over a local gang, unintentionally founded his own cult, and is an incredibly... What? A cult? Mixed up. This isn't your typical superhero secret identity shenanigans. Bob doesn't really give a shit about any of these things. Yeesh, those animations. ...fit in by joining the Body Improvement Club, which he... Uh. Nah, I feel kind of related to him. <laughs> Not that hard. Take it from me, and I've got a shotgun for a leg. <laughs> Still, when his life is in danger, Whoa. I know a lot of people say the animation in Mob Psycho 100 is fantastic. He's mega powerful, and it definitely looks it just from this. Jesus! He totally can if he boosts his body psychically. He can fly through the air, fling objects all over the place, throw psychic energy attacks. Bloody hell! Buildings, cause cities, spinning earthquakes, whip up huge. Telekinesis, energy absorption, energy transference, spiritual awareness, astral protection. Damn, he's got quite a lot in his arsenal. As he's one of the few psychics who can actually attack and defend simultaneously. Damn! Fighting a bunch of evil spirits all at once. Oh, 
Talk about weird looking. Are you sure he's not just like tripping balls or something? <laughs> From the animation, you probably th could think that. These psychic powers are directly linked to emotions. The more sad, angry, rejected you right. feel, okay. the more powerful your psychic abilities become. And then when you have an emotional breakdown, so does your powers. I need to get really angry so I can do psychic stuff. Just make sure it's not the robot arm. My grand can hit harder than you. <laughs> wow. You think it'll work if I'm just yeah. so embarrassed about having a friend like you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Saw that one coming. <laughs> Regardless, the fact that Mob's psychic powers are drawn from his emotions is a conundrum in and of itself. Mm -hmm. See, when Mob was a child, an attempt to use his powers wound up injuring his younger brother. This oh. tragedy would scar Mob forever, terrifying him of his own ability. As a result, he Aww. suppressed his emotions for years. But Poor dude. Needy ex, they'd still boil up in bad situations. Us readers got to see them rise with a handy percentage. Right, the, the percentage limiter. And also, the opening themes for these series, fantastic. I've heard that much. Some rage, animosity, well, gratitude, words, sadness, and kindness. Suppressing his powers had an unprecedented effect on his psyche. His Damn. Became an entity of He's got a, an, an ultimate form? Representative of his repressed self. And when things get real bad, it takes over his body in a blind rage. Or Jesus or Christ. Or whatever he's feeling at the time. In this that is state, wild. And it's extraordinary. His sheer psychic aptitude increases at an alarming rate, including his absorption ability. Jesus Christ, I definitely gotta get into this anime at some point. The energy in the atmosphere. Are you telling me his vessel is able to handle this much? And while he is off Seems it. conscious while his inner self takes over, his questionable state will continue trying Magnitude 9 Earthquake. To the city blast and blast into broccoli? Okay. <laughs> Here comes the maths. This ugly joke through a building, he went from Ugh. zero to kick ass so fast he caught fire. Taking this feat literally, <laughs> to get this result, he would have to be reaching an ablation speed over five times the speed of sound. Bro. Not as fast as a bolt of lightning, which he was quick enough to catch with his shield. That's not all. <laughs> In his duel with Claw's boss, Toichiro, Mob took this huge crushing hit. Scaling this massive Jesus freaking Christ one, and applying the resulting fragment to <laughs> rock, we found Mob survived an attack worth over 80 tons of TNT. Nah, that's damn Shiggy. In the same fight, he psycho lifted hundreds of buildings into the air. Look at yeah, I definitely gotta watch this anime at some point. This looks freaking intense and I love it already. <laughs> Get the body down my shoe. Not only is that millions of tons of stone and concrete, but simply creating this orb pushed away the cloud. It looks like the planetary devastation attack from Naruto. Not impressive. Clouds are just fluffy balls of cotton candy. <laughs> now I hear you. I thought so nope. too. But turns out that's not true at all. Unfortunately, to move clouds in real life, you need a freaking hydrogen bomb. So it's quite impressive. Right. On another occasion, Mob gathered all these clouds himself. By measuring the area and multiplying by average cloud density, this Damn, this is wild maps already. Tons of TNT. 20 times the combined destructive capabilities of all the nuclear so warheads in the world. Mob already seems like an ultra powerful guy. For example, once so what's his defenses? Attack, he reached a definitive limit, though he compensated by redirecting all that psychic energy into some broccoli seeds with interesting uh, results. Oh, is that where the broccoli comes from? Oh god. In time, Mob eventually reconnected with his repressed self, fully accepting his past and his powers. So look out, he may look like a total dork. So he's got ultimate power, but he can be pushed to his limit. Can you feel it? Rage burning in me. Jesus Christ, do not piss him off. Okay, let's see what Tatsumaki's like. Monsters and villains which threaten the survival of humanity on a daily basis. It's a stroke of luck that mankind has its fair share of saviors in the form of superheroes. Some very weird and wild designs. All the baddies without even laying a finger on them. These are espers, superhumans who possess... I think that's her sister, I believe. them is a girl named Tatsumaki. What the... What? Real? Why does he have seven Let's just say one is more well known for his excellent story. Yeah, I, I know he's not exactly the most detailed of artists at times. 
Obsessed with candy apples, often mistaken for a sassy lost child. Harvey being a brat. Jeez. I guess that makes sense. Last rescue changed Tatsumaki's life forever, and he left her with one very important lesson. When the time comes, don't expect someone to save you. <laughs> what the hell? Did, did this guy inspire Raven's mothering teaching? Torn by his contradiction, Tatsumaki decided to take up hero work for herself. Thus, she took up the mantle, Tornado of Terror. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Sound more like a super villain name? And you might mistake her for one. Kinda. Time, she's kind of a brat. Well, she is <laughs> the best at what she does, and she knows it. So she often seems She almost looks like a super powered Medusa. Kinesis, she often floats above her opponents, looking down on them literally and figuratively. Her favorite thing to do is throw rocks at people. Big rocks, small rocks, rocks from outer space, doesn't matter. Rocks as big as your head. Give him a twist to figure that wrist. That's what the showman said. She's also fine throwing other things like trains, schools, people, even a giant Jeez. Not only that, but she can alter the direction huh? of gravity, create town spanning barriers, twist up a human body, cause magnitude eight level earthquakes, and spin up enormous whirlwinds. Fitting for her namesake. And that's not even half of it. She's the most powerful Esper of them all, even better than her older sister, Fubuki. Actually, that's mm -hmm. her younger Thought so. Her Wait, what? what? Man, anime, anime is weird. But given <laughs> the past, even with her sister beside her, Tatsumaki has some serious trust issues. She doesn't even want Fubuki to have friends. Chill out, lady. Friends oh, are important. Damn. Right, Wiz? I'm sorry, what? Uh, <laughs> well, he had his chance. Anyway, wah, wah. objects and organisms is only part of her skill set. Tatsumaki's power truly shines when it comes she's to kinda creepy. Oh yeah, she's so talented, she can use her crazy mind power to have full control over television. Uh yeah, sure, but that's, that's not really kinda cool. Change. Change. Actually that, I wouldn't mind that part myself. Is he gonna change the channel at some point? Because he's got a remote in his hand. She can use their own chi to disable or even kill them. Right. Okay. <laughs> Simpsons. <laughs> oh, it should have been Ruby. That would have been better. Even suppress their powers in an instant. Yeah, Might not be able to work on Mob. Seriously, this chick is so powerful. Psychokinesis, flight, energy powers, power gravity manipulation. Well, while well, that move is pretty good. Kabuki's well, Hellstorm. Is not canon to the original source material. Oh. However, okay. it doesn't mean it's off the table. As it turns out, her hmm. other accomplishments prove she's more than powerful enough to pull it off. Just look at her lifting up this. Uh, what am I looking at here? Good question. Thankfully, one will uh, include these lovely labels identifying Z-City oh. and an underground. I thought it was going to be like a huge uh, train or something. Entire hideout, which was previously stated to reach over 1500 meters deep. As Damn, well, okay. One Punch Man is based on real life locations in Tokyo, so at the very least, we could compare Z City to a smaller district like Ginza, which consists of about 215 acres. With the size of an average building huh. district in mind, and thus scaling the building to the hideout and then to Ginza, we found that Tatsumaki must be lifting over 3 billion tons of rock. That's like lifting the That's impressive. wall of China 62 times. More than powerful enough to pull a meteor from She can also cause a magnitude 9 earthquake. Attack City A with a hailstorm of giant bullets. She was fast enough to stop them in mid-air and turn them back on the enemy ship. Scaling okay, that's and cool. Human engaging by the amount of damage they could cause, the bullets must have been moving 1,800 times faster than. Ugh. I can't imagine how long it takes for these guys to do all the mathematical research. By looking at the distance they flew in such a short time frame, they were likely moving more than 36 times the speed of sound. Which is awesome, but she still didn't win the fight. It was actually <laughs> a rather humbling experience for her, finally realizing that perhaps she isn't the most powerful person alive. I mean, all espers have limits, including Tatsumaki. Their psychic power drains them of energy, so they can get right. to a point where they can't do their 
wear psycho magic for a while. Hmm. Also, she generally has to focus exclusively on either offense or defense. So when she's on the attack, her guard is lowered. Something a skilled enough opponent can certainly take advantage of. Also, should an Esper like Tatsumaki suffer a serious head injury, their powers become Ooh. more difficult to use. So maybe she That's important to note. Gut as she thought she was. And after getting that memo, she finally loosened up a bit. She even let her sis hang out with her friends instead of throwing them into a wall or something. Aww. Well, <laughs> at the end of the day, the idea that anyone could even hope to match the Tornado of Terror's pure hmm. psychic power seems laughable. You disgust me. Get lost. I I might be leaning on Mob to win because it seems like his defenses are stronger. They made a point there that Tatsumaki can get tired and drained the more she uses her powers. So I'm going to lean on Mob for this. Though, again, with my inexperience, I could easily be proven wrong. But let's see what happens. Bring on the action. Uh, got the wrong age there, bud. So has the fight technically started? Oh, 62%. Here we go. Fight! Don't say that. You're an anime. Oh, 75%. Damn, we're already getting up to the high numbers. 81%. It ain't gonna take long, I guess, for us to get to the 100. Bye bye. No. Jesus. Straight through that building. 100. Here we go. They've done a good job already capturing the animation style, I guess. Jeez! This is your fault. It's like Dragon Ball levels action, but with psychic powers. No. Jesus Christ! Jeez! Damn! Props to the animation team for this one. They are killing it already. Whoa! Yeah, Mob's defenses are looking wild. Uh oh! Jesus Christ! Here we go with the uh, super form. I don't think that's going to be enough. Oh, Christ! That's a lot of head damage as well. <laughs> Bloody hell! This is in intense! Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Oh, no! No thanks! No thanks! I am not liking that. Oh! Was that his defense is broken? Because it looked like Tatsumaki was ugh, gonna lose there. Yo! She won! Holy hell! I thought that she was gonna die when he, he was doing like all the bunny twists. Sure. Yeesh! So Tatsumaki won. Let's see the reasons why. Mm. It's got to be the one who wins at least the, the most amount of times. But she still has the stuff to pull off a win more times than not. Right. First of all, Tatsumaki had a notable advantage when it came to training and experience. She's a top ranked. That's true. She's been training since seven. Hmm. She was faster too, given her reaction against Boros's bullets moving over 617,000 meters per second. Sure, Mob reacted to friggin' lightning, but believe it or not, that's still technically slower. See, a lightning bolt technically really? has two different speeds to consider. Oh, yeah! First for the slower leader of Damn it. Going down, 
First one down. Yeah. That's the slower one. More than six times slower than Tatsumaki. So, even though Mob gotcha. had the edge of being able to attack and defend at the same time, Tatsumaki was a lot quicker than him. So she could switch between attacking and defending fast enough to counter Mob whenever she really needed to. But then how much power was she able to put it through to break through the defenses? All of this would mean nothing if Tatsumaki couldn't overpower Mob's absorbing shield. His awesome hmm. power of suck. Right. We know <laughs> Mob's uh, sucking shield had a limit given how he was forced to transfer absorbed energy into those seeds. In Growing those seeds, yeah. Of broccoli in an instant. We can actually use this broccoli to get a general idea <laughs> of Mob's absorbing limits. Broccoli <laughs> requires this is going to be the first time that we're going to see a vegetable as reasoning for someone winning. Nearby buildings, we found it to be 21 million times larger than the average broccoli. This means Mob must <laughs> the average broccoli about 1.6 megatons of TNT. Yeah, but how about the energy Tatsumaki used to stop and redirect those giant bullets? Those things are huge solid shells with no explosive component. <laughs> Damn. They look like fucking planes. And they could wipe out a whole city. We're shown that the shells destroyed most of City A in one shot, and we can see how much damage they dealt to Boros' ship when Tatsumaki turned them around. With this data in mind, the height of Boros' ship and the already calculated bolt speed, we determined the energy she displayed here must have equaled at least 470 gigatons of TNT. Damn! Yeah, that is quite a big difference. Okay, so she won with experience, speed, and power. Mob's unique powers were generally passive and defensive, whereas Tatsumaki's mm. were better suited to precision strikes and deadly blows. Once Mob's barrier was down, she had plenty of options for wrapping things up, whether it be blocking, okay. his power, controlling his chi, or simply crushing him herself. And her powers weren't dependent on her feelings, so she was always at full strength, no matter what. She was able to keep a level head. Mob certainly had the skill and ability to okay, yeah, I can buy into that. I mean, I don't know if anyone's gonna prove otherwise if they got more knowledge with the fandom and the series. But that's cool. And who's the uh, who's the next fight? Okay, come on. Who you guys got next time? <gasps> oh, Deadpool's back! Oh god, who's he, who's he facing this time? Is that... Let's kill Deadpool. Oh! The mask! Oh! Oh, yes, that's gonna be cool. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna say this right now. I might be supporting the mask. I love the mask. And I, I, the film, I really enjoy the film. It's probably one of my all-time favorite movies. And I know the mask character is completely different in the movies to how he is in his comic books. Um, and also the cartoon as well, which is different. But them, that is going to be an interesting fight. Deadpool versus the mask. Definitely going to be looking forward to that one. But yeah, uh, this fight, really damn cool. I love the animation in this. I think they did an expert job trying to recapture some of the style of Mob Psycho and One Punch Man. Um, and the fight, I think it did have the fair winner in the end. I, they gave a very good amount of reasons. The speed, the power, the experience, the ability to break through uh, Mob's shield, um, being able to keep a level head. There was a lot that did go into Tatsumaki's favor, but I was always thinking, just like, how powerful was she able to be to break through that shield? And they proved it with some really, really compelling uh, information. So, yeah, I lost another one, but I ain't complaining. I think they gave uh, fair reasons for that. And in the end, the fight itself was freaking wild. A lot of intense stuff going on with all the flying around and the uh, mobs different levels of power and the body contortion stuff was really gross but damn was it sick as well uh so yeah not complaining this was another fantastic fight uh but let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below and while you're at it hit the subscribe and bell buttons and tick the notification box to get every new video from me as they drop and follow me on twitter at the kaito dan for more on anything to do with future reactions from death battle as well as stuff relating to ruby updates on future content and more 
But until next time, have a good day or good night, and peace out.